Hey everybody, enter the stars. This scene of I Pet Goat 2 has been decoded. Finally. Or at least half of it's been decoded. I'm going to leave the rest up to you guys. But I think we have a lock on where this scene is headed. This has bothered us for quite some time. We've uh, examined the scene. And uh, I've had a lot of great ideas. But it just did not lock in for me until now. And it's funny because uh, there's a person uh, in my life that I met who also believes in truth. This is the synergism synergism of energy that occurs when truth happens. You find others and we aggregate and collect. And um, she actually looked up an article that no one else had looked up before. And this is how I went down the rabbit hole and found this information. I think once you hear it, you will be also convinced that this is what this scene is referencing in iPad Go 2. So you'll notice, I want you to notice the shell that she's sitting in. I want you to also notice that she is a saint, or an evil saint. She's got a red halo. And I also want you to notice a very small bottle of heliotrope, whatever, that she's holding. Okay? We're going to come out of this scene and I'm going to go down the rabbit hole with you guys. Tyrian purple, um, also known as royal purple, imperial purple, which in my opinion is heliotrope, um, is a dye, reddish purple natural dye, which is a secretion produced by certain species of predatory sea snails in the family Mercidae. First used by the Phoenicians. Uh, the dye it was greatly prized in antiquity because the color did not easily fade, but instead became brighter with weathering and sunlight. Okay. This is the color of the New World Order, you guys. Heliotrope purple. I want you to notice the chemical structure of Tyrian purple. 6-6. Six, six. Okay. Um, Tyrian purple was expensive. The 4th century BC historian Theopompus reported purple for dyes fetched its weight in silver. Okay. They became status symbols. Production of purple was tightly controlled in the empire and was subsidized by the imperial, imperial court. They would color silks with it and children born to reigning emperors were born in purple. Also, the birthing department was walled in purple rock. Okay, this color has gone back millennia. Now, here's the interesting thing. Um, there's different shells that also can produce this purple. Looked a couple of those up for you. Plankor purpura, purpura pansa and Plycopurpura patula. Here's what they look like. And as you can see, this shell lining here looks a lot more like what's in the picture in Ipet Goat. These also produce the purple as well. Patula. And you can see the purple dye here. That's the heliotrope, you guys. We found what the scene was referencing. I don't know why this information comes to me, you guys, but it does, and it's real. And I've heard many explanations for that scene in Ike Pet Goat. This one is the lock. Okay. Now, you'll notice. Let's see, let's go down here. Now, these are found in the eastern Mediterranean, near Lebanon and Israel. Okay. And it also says it takes 12,000 snails to, to yield no more than 1.4 grams of pure dye, and only enough to color the trim of a single garment. Okay, so they're harvesting these shells. Now what I need your guys' help for is to find out why the child and I pet goat is in the arms of that woman. Now I read here, this is National Geographic, so it's called Tyrian Purple for a reason because Tyre was 
in Roman times known for the precious purple dye made from the murex sea snails that became the color of royalty. Uh, I have suspicions that this links to the Catholic Church somehow some kind of scandal with the children in you know maybe used as slave labor to collect these shells I don't know but there's definitely this is the scene in I pet goat you guys anyway um, take care